Eh, qué rollo, quiero mandar un saludo a mi amigo Goodfella, de parte de tu amigo Jaime Munguía. Un abrazo, canal. Ánimo. All right, man, did uh, Canelo carry um, Jaime Munguía, Terrence Crawford, uh, believes that Canelo carried Jaime Munguía. Um, you know, do I believe that? I, feel, I, believe, I mean, after I heard him say I thought about it, I said, yeah, it was some opportunities. Maybe Canelo couldn't really pull the trigger. And I started kind of thinking, like, uh, I started kind of thinking that, uh, I started thinking like, okay, where's Charlo? It just seemed like he got a knockdown, but it seemed like he didn't really step it up to try to knock Charlo out. So, I mean, I started thinking, I'm like, maybe he just don't have the energy anymore to really get guys out of there. You know, now he's pacing himself because he ain't never had no conditioning. And as you get older, the conditioning don't get better, especially unless you take proper precautions. So, you know, you're like, well, what's those proper precautions? When you get older, you know, metabolism started to slow down and all that. So then, really, then you start, and it's harder to build muscle and keep fat off. So then, you are they open the Minchies down here? They moved it. All right, all right. But um, the, 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 the thing to do is, then you start cutting out the bad shit. You know, your diet might be 70 30. 70 percent, you eating good. 30 percent, I think this should be the bare minimum. 30 percent, you know, you eating bullshit. You know, maybe chips. You know, liquor, cake, stuff like that. You know, I think that's the bare minimum split for any nutritious person, right? Um, I think when you start talking about going below that 60 40, I think you live in a dangerous life unless you highly, highly, highly active, right? So as you get older, that 70 30 got to go 80 20, maybe 90, 90 10. You know, but a lot of times if you, if you live a lifestyle where, you know, you active, it ain't seem like he stay active, to be honest. You don't really see him out of shape much. But you stay active. You you should be able, even into your later ages, you still, your metabolism should be burning. It still should be burn, you know, burning them calories off like nothing. So once you win it, you win it. You might slow down a bit, but once you win it to win it, you win it to win it. You know what I mean? But uh, but nonetheless, bro, uh, I just feel that... Uh, I just feel that... Um, you know, it's kind of like, you know, he, oh, he carried him, but did he, you know, he didn't really have the energy to really get Dimitri Bivol out, you know, to challenge Dimitri Bivol. He just let, he just laid down for Dimitri Bivol. Every now and again, he tried to mount a comeback, and Dimitri Bivol took his belt off and tamed that, and tamed that boy, you know, and he tamed him. So that was a, that was a crazy thing about it. Or it's Charlo, you know, he didn't cut the ring up. I, I think... I can see why we think he carried him, but it don't seem like he got the he got the juice no more. No pun intended. It seemed like he fighting in spurts, and that's the thing about Benavidez. If he can't keep Benavidez, if he can't hurt Benavidez to get Benavidez out of there, off of him, he going to sleep. He going to sleep. He know he can't keep up with that value. See, B will just control distance, and that's kind of what Mangia tried to do is keep him at the end of this, but Mangia. He ain't beat him. He ain't got the experience yet. So with Benavidez, he just gonna run through you. Like diarrhea, like food poison. He gonna run through you. So he ain't got the energy to keep Benavidez off of him. That's my thing. I think maybe he felt bad for Jaime and I seen opportunities for him to take Jaime Munguia up out of there. And it looked like he did, or maybe he just can't pull the trigger like he once could. So that, that might be what it is. Maybe he can't pull the trigger like he once could. That might very, that might very, may well be the case. Maybe he can't pull that trigger like he once could. He may not have the energy anymore to uh, to go. So that that don't that one that don't surprise that wouldn't surprise me, man, because. There's been a couple of uh, there's been a couple of fights. There's been a couple of fights now where he just ain't really had had. He really ain't been able to go to that next gear. So Crawford might be on. You know Crawford might he might be okay. He he, he had mercy on. Well, why we have mercy on Beef? We have mercy on Better Up. Have mercy on Charlo. I think I think Canelo I think Canelo just don't have, I think you had the sparring partner come out and say well he lazy in training he quitting sparring 
he ain't got the conditioning no more. He know he ain't got the fire. He really never had the fire to fight the best, to be honest. That motherfucker came in the game, cherry picking and, and rose petal stone at his feet. But, you know, I was, yeah, maybe he carried him, or maybe he ain't got it no more. I'm starting to kind of think about maybe he ain't got it no more. Maybe he ain't got it. Maybe it's just the wheel or the conditioning. It's like, man, the money's so easy. Let me fight guys. They don't keep paying to fight guys that I, I know I can beat. Let me get as much money as possible. Um, that might be that might be what it is. Cause I'm I'm looking like, dog, there's opportunities for him to get monkey out of there. You know? And he fighting his spurts. He fighting his spurts and shit. I'm looking like, damn. Like, you can really step it up here, buddy. You really can step it up. You really can step it up. And he, and he ain't stepping it up. So, it's like, what's, what's whatever. So, you got people to the point that he carry Mungia. But I looked at the other fights with Charlo and Beat Be and Beevil. I see, I see the same things. I see the same exact things. He just don't have that gear. He don't have that, that, that gear to go to the next level. Yep, he don't have that gear to go to the next level. So, um, But Terrence Crawford said he's seen some things that he can exploit in there with Canelo because he was at the fight. So he said he's seen some things he can exploit, but I don't think he's going to get that fight. So... If Canelo don't really got the energy, I mean, he got nothing to gain versus Terrence Crawford. All the money the same. You know, he happy with some people saying he the best in, and he, he the best in boxing. He the face of boxing. He okay with some people saying Crawford the best in boxing. He the face of boxing. He okay with that. He okay with that. He can live with that. He one of them dudes that, like Chris Eubanks, Toy Roy Jones, he said, man, I was just happy to be... Uh, amongst you know, mentioned with y'all, you know what I'm saying? I was just happy and content with that. You know? So, um, he said he was just content with being being up there with them, the, amongst the best. Damn. I'm tweaking. But, um, he, I mean, it's just all risk at that point for him. It's all risk. When you start talking about it being it, be, it being all risk for him, don't make no sense. And then if Crawford come in and he move up the right way and Crawford really active and he really got to keep up with Crawford energy-wise, this level ain't there to keep up with Crawford energy-wise, he already know what time it is. He going to be in for a long night. He going to be in for a long night. He know what time it is. He gonna be in for a long ass night. So, but um, you know, what are some of the things he's seen? He just probably seen Canelo lazy. You know, he seen Monkey throw three, four, five shots and pop Canelo head back. You know, he was, you know, seeking you know, Mungia just aiming upstairs and forgetting about the body. So, of course, he, you know, he's seen, he's seen some things in there that, that he can exploit. But the one thing about it is, it looked totally different on the outside looking in. But, you know, he trying to get that fight. They ain't, they ain't gonna, he ain't gonna fight him. He ain't gonna fight him. Cause he gonna have to work. Canelo don't want to be in there with nobody. They gotta work. He gotta work. I'm telling you, he don't want to be in there with nobody. He gotta move and he gotta get on his toes and he gotta track down and he gotta do all that shit. And he, ain't, he ain't trying to do all that. Canelo want easy kills at this point. He wanna snip. He wanna sit with his sniper on the top of the building and just sit there and get easy kills. He don't want to go out there and hunt for shit. You know, that's just that's just what it is. You don't want to hunt for shit, man. And you know, but you know, Crawford. You know, I seen some things in there. 
that that Crawford can can expose. You know, I seen some things in there that um, you know, you know Canelo just being lazy and just tell you can, he can be outworked. He can be outworked, but he's seeing the openings, and he he capitalized on them. So he's seeing the openings, and when he land, when he throw, he land. So if you can make him miss when he do throw his his a few shots in the round, if you can make him miss, and one of the things you can out jab him. He ain't throwing that jab. He ain't got no activity no more. He didn't got old. He didn't got lazy, and he got dependent on that power. And the caliber of opponents, he could just overpower him, overpower them. But we get somebody in there that can make them miss them shots and take take them shots and not and still be there and be working his ass like Beaver did, man. It's a wrap. So let me know what you girls and guys think. Thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel, and the subscribe button is the bell icon button. Hit all notifications, increase your chance, get notifications. We go live or drop video financially. Want to support the channel? Cash up, dollar sign, CJ Good 313, Venmo CJ Good 313. PayPal link in the description. The link tree. Find me on X, Instagram, Spotify, Anchor, Cash App, Venmo, PayPal. Check out the Patreon. Appreciate y'all. Peace.